Guys, it's that time of year again when we're looking for gifts for family, friends, and also for ourselves. And so we're going to look at the Suches Christmas List, and this is put on by GetZone.com and also sponsored by Aero Precision. And we're going to look at the M5E1. Guys, when you're used to shooting a lot of standard AR-15s, going to the AR-10 can feel a little clunky, a little heavy, and just unwieldy. And so when I got the Aero Precision M5E1, I just figured it would be the same. But once I picked it up, I mean, it's a very lightweight AR-10 style rifle. It is in the 308 caliber, but it has a 16 inch barrel. It has a very lightweight M5 Atlas handguard. And this is a big plus for this rifle. Now, sometimes that's a trade off because you have more recoil. But the pleasant surprise is because of the muzzle brake, this rifle just shot very smooth. It does have the Magpul STR stock and the Mo Grip. Now it does come with a 20 round Magpul P Mag, but I just happened to slip one of my 10 rounders in here because we were at the range. Now let's drop our magazine, make sure the gun is unloaded, and it is. The 7075T6 upper and lower receiver, very well finished. Uh, we do have a flared mag weld to be able to get those big old P Mags <laughs> in 308 in there. Of course we have Picatinny rail all along the top, and check out this big old bolt carrier group, but it is trimmed down. But the M5E1 comes with, again, an 18 inch barrel with a mid-length gas system. So that gas system definitely helps in getting those second and third follow-up shots quickly. Uh, this is the Chrome Molly Vanadium. It's 8620 steel. You can get this in the stainless steel version, but the compensator on the end definitely helped. And this is the VG6 Gamma. Uh, it is, again, for 7.62 and the ports just tame that recoil. Now the handguard is one of the Aero Precision M5 Atlas R1s. This is an M-Lock. You can still get it in key mod if you want. The one secret to this handguard, not only is it thin, and that's one of the reasons why this rifle just felt very balanced, but it's also very lightweight. Uh, this comes in a 15 inch and a 12 inch. The 15 inch weighs 8.6 ounces, but then they also have the S1. And the S1 has your Picatinny rails at the front and here at the back. And then it's just, there's no Picatinny here. Honestly, where it's just really not needed. You can see the top is ribbed. Uh, it's just a really nice, thin, gripping handguard. But the M5E1 also has the Radium Raptor Lightweight Ambidextrous Charging Handle. This is made from 7075T6 aluminum. And of course it is for the AR-10 style. One of the things they've done though is they've got an over-molded polymer over your metal uh, handles. Now these are ambidextrous. You can grab them by both. You can grab them singular on either side. So it's a very smooth feel to it. The polymer again, it's very grippy so you don't have to worry about loosening your touch. Their teeth on the back and on the front. So I grab here, able to pull that. It's just a really excellent design. Now the Radium Raptor lightweight charging handle runs $69.95 on the Air Precision website. And then the M5 Atlas R1 and S1 in the 15 inch run $209.99. And of course it's a little bit less for the 12 inch. They make parts for the aerospace industry as well. And their tolerances are excellent. Their quality control. I just highly recommend these, whether it's the M5E1, the M5 Atlas, or the Radium Raptor. These are just excellent products. So go to airprecisionusa.com to check out more details. Now guys, next on the Christmas list is the Rossi RS-22. And I'm gonna tell you, I was really surprised at how much I like this rifle. Uh, it was, it's so lightweight. This little polymer stock is just super lightweight. Holds 10 rounds in the magazine. Go ahead and pull that out. Steel. Check the chamber, it's empty. And it does have the green stock. Here in the back we have the black stock. I added one of the Cytron scopes and a bipod. It does have a dovetail for rimfire rings and the receiver is aluminum. We have a fully adjustable rear sight with fiber optics. And then up front we have a hooded front sight with a contrasting fiber optic rod. The barrel is 18 inches and the muzzle is crowned. One thing though that really impressed me was this stock. It has nice texturing here and at the front has this area right here to grab and it just nestles in your hand. You have your sling adapter here. Of course you can put a bipod on it as we've done on the black model. And we have a Monte Carlo style cheek piece that's molded into the stock. I believe this does come in an FDE as well as the black and then the OD. 
But now the best surprise about the Rossi RS22 is the price. These run $139 retail on the Rossi website, so you can definitely get it for less at your local gun shop. So check out RossiUSA.com for more information. This company is owned by Taurus. And guys, this is just a great little gun to take out to the range for the whole family and just have a lot of fun. Now this is a rifle that I've really been looking forward to and it's the IWI Galil Ace. The Israeli military has been using Galils for decades. Uh, it is a variant of the AK-47, but much more refined. Even though it's a lot of the same basics, it feels like a totally different rifle. This one is in the 7.62 by 39. We're gonna make sure the gun is unloaded. We have our mag release right here. Check the chamber and the gun is unloaded. That is super smooth. The one thing you need to be aware of is if you get an ACE to keep it 922R compliant, you have to use US mags. And so the Magpul Gen 3 mags are just excellent. Now the Galil Ace has an ambidextrous safety, so we have it right here, but we also have it right here above your grip. Now the grip is the one that the Israeli military uses, but one thing that's different about the Ace is this polymer lower. Uh, and this whole section right here is a one-piece polymer, including the grip. The charging handle is on the left side, and it is reciprocating. This plate keeps dust and dirt and everything else out of your receiver, which the AK has like a slot right here. And that is one of the things, even though the AK is super reliable. So when I bring back my bolt, the plate actually lowers. You'll notice it kind of rocks but it keeps this sealed. The Picatinny rail all along the top of the receiver and it comes all the way out to the front sight. The front sight has protective ears and there is a tritium insert in the post. We have a rear aperture sight and it does flip down for a little bit of a larger, more combat sight or for your target sight. And this is adjustable. It does come with a modified A2 bird cage. Now on your forend, there are covers and you depress and then just push forward. And now you have your Picatinny rail. And they slip over mainly just to protect your hands. It does have an adjustable stock with a lever. Uh, and then you have a cheek piece, and this is removable. And the stock is foldable. Uh, if you want more information, though, go to IWIUS.com. Guys, I had a 1022 for 20 years before I ever really experienced a Target Heavy Barrel 22. And I've never been able to look at the 1022 the same. It's amazing what these rifles are capable of. But then you take Volkortsen, who makes, to me, the best parts out there, aftermarket parts, for the 1022, and then take the VM22, and they have completely made all the parts for this rifle. Of course, the stock is one of the Magpul Hunter X22 stocks. Let's drop the magazine. Uses one of the 10-round Ruger rotary magazines. Check the chamber, and it's empty. You'll notice, though, that the bolt is really finely polished. Has a nice bluing on it has a larger charging handle with a knurling, so makes it really easy to be able to pull that back. The upper receiver has the Picatinny rail milled on top. It is super stable. And we have one of the Nikon Monarch 4x16 scopes on here, uh, and we just got some really incredible accuracy with this. Well, Quartzen says that the BM-22 is guaranteed to shoot a half MOA at 50 yards, and it will do it. But really, to get that kind of accuracy, you need a really good trigger. And the GT2000 trigger group that is made by Volkortsen, which is a CNC milled machined piece, much better than the Ruger polymer, two and a quarter pound trigger pull with an over travel adjustment and also a take up adjustment. And so this trigger pack in itself, which I would highly recommend adding to your existing 1022 if nothing else. Now Volkortsen calls the barrel a super light barrel. It is carbon fiber. Uh, it does have a steel insert inside, but you can see the carbon fiber design in here. It is beautiful and it's super lightweight. With 22, the forward flow compensator may be an overkill to keep recoil down, but it does also protect your crown, but every little bit helps. Guys, to me, this is one of the best 1022 designs in the world. And if you want more information, go to volkortsen.com. So guys, I hope that this helped in your decision-making for your Christmas gift giving. And I really appreciate uh, getzone.com for helping put this together. And also, again, error precision, for their sponsorship. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. It's just an amazing what these rifleables, <laughs> rifleables, and the Air Precision M5E1, 
beautiful. 